<laughs> Welcome to Epic Channel. You are in a space where we celebrate art and technology, introduce all these new ways, and show yourself in an exciting virtual space. Maybe this couple months, as you can see, we are really getting to full body tracking, face tracking. A lot of people have great questions. I'm glad our video helped them. And then we have been thinking to make videos about full body tracking without trackers. In this episode, let me let me dig into how we do full body tracking without tracker. Two things we want to talk about. One is using Connect V1 and V2. The second one is using the mocap for all for your full body tracking and using in Steam VR and VR Chat. Let's now let's start with Kinect One V1 and V2. This is for those of you who have some kind of budget. You don't want to get a full tracker for your body, and then we'll give you the price of the things that you need before we start it. Of course, for those of you who already have Xbox and you want to use Kinect for full body tracking, is a great way to use that. And there's. There's three things you need before you start it. First one is called Drive. It's the driver for VR. It's an emulator for VR controllers and trackers. Uh, I purchased it a long time ago because we were kind of trying to experiment because we want to try to emulate the VR headset using Switch Joy-Con and the smartphone. It was an experiment a long time ago, so we purchased this software drivers for VR driver for VR and then now like at that, at that time there's still a trial so you can try it with that software but right now they don't have trial anymore it will be cost around 20 20 dollars and then about the Kinect V1 and V2 we also checked online they don't have new ones to sell anymore either you have the Xbox you already have the Kinect V1 or V2 or you can purchase the the second hand between sixty to a hundred dollars, and then you also need an adapter. So these three things, as long as you have these three things, you are ready to go. So all together, it will be around a hundred to one hundred fifty dollars. So it's still cheaper than having a tracker and the base station. So now let's get started. When you have all these tools, let's get started. How you how we set up. How to set up Kinect? We already talked about when we talked about the 310 and updates. So it's the, basically the same thing. You need to install the driver, of course, to let the PC recognize the Kinect. So once the Kinect is recognized in PC, you can install the driver for VR. Now, the software driver for VR is only selling on Steam. So like I mentioned, they don't have trial and it will cost around $20. So you have the driver, and then you have the Kinect recognized with PC. And now make sure you connect your Kinect uh, device and then turn on and start the software. <laughs> when you start the software, you will see the window pop, this window pop up in the background. You just have to switch, change the, choose the body tracking part to Kinect skeleton. And then now click calibrate and then choose new two steps. It should work. And if it's not working, you can try different ways. And then when now you click calibrate, you will see yourself. Uh, you will see yourself with a connect bone. And then as you can see, I was moving around, try to see how accurate it is. And then you press this calibrate window uh, button here, and you will see the simple instruction pop up. It's very simple. Basically, it's like it asks you to stand stand with the a, a pose. Yeah, then the software starts to calibrate. You will see this green bar. Then in between, it may ask you to move uh, forward or backward. Just do as what it asks you to. Once the calibrating success is completed it means it's successful now you can close the window now you can go steam vr vr chat so 
this is me inside a VR chat. Once you in VR chat, you're in like this T pose kind of position. Then you can use your controller to press, like go along with the T pose with your physical body and then press the, the trigger. Then you will start to calibrate. You will see these three white balls, one around your pel pelvis, other two around your legs. Once you, with the T-pose, once you align with these positions, you just press the trigger, then now the, it calibrates well. If it's not going well, you can just go back to, go to the menu on your in your VR chat. You will see this calibrate button, just calibrate again until you have your whole body calibrate well and moving smoothly. Yeah, that's what I did. And then, as you can see, it's, do, it's doing pretty well. It's completely using, just using the Kinect V2 at this point. Just make sure that you know the Kinect, it, the camera of Kinect is facing you. So you you can't turn around because there's only, only one camera in front of you. So you can only uh, track your body when you're facing front, you have to be aware, aware where the camera is. Like we also have Kinect V1. So we did a little test, try with the Kinect V1 as well. So the result is almost the same. The only difference is, of course, you have to set, uh, install the driver of Kinect V1. And then the Kinect V2, the field of view is wider. And then it's a little bit more accurate. But if you don't want to, if you couldn't find, like this two version doesn't really have such big difference. It's both can track your body pretty well. So it depends on your budget or if you want a wider range of view. Or if you only have one of this Kinect hardware, it doesn't matter. So yeah, so this is all good. Like you can see the result we tried. So now let's go to Mocha for all. We've made a cam, we've made a video about use doing the mo like testing the motion capture with mocap for all. Of course, you can use that for VR chat and Steam VR. The problem is the trial version of ver uh, Mocha for all only have ten seconds, so it's really hard for us to show you how well it goes. If you are more interested, in know the result. They have Twitter, and a lot of people have purchased this. Um, mocha for all to to go to the VR chat. I think that result is pretty accurate. Just for us at this point, it's not as um, what we expect the result it will be, but we will still tell you how we did it. So with Mocha for all, it's basically use, using webcams or phone as many as you want, up to 100 cameras if you have the space. So that is the, I, I think in that case, if you have a lot, like really great setup, it's a very accurate, accurate way for the body tracking. The setup is almost the same with motion cap. You need to do, in this case, is to download the, to download the virtual motion tracker. We'll put a link underneath the video. Once you download this motion, virtual motion tracker, you just need to install it. Instruction of Mocha for All, they're asking people to get this virtual motion tracker uh, version 12. So I think their latest one is 13. So we download the 12. Once you install the software version motion tracker, virtual mo motion tracker, uh, you just need to start the software and then restart the Steam VR. Make sure your headset is connected. Once you finish install, you will see a uh, little window pop up will show you in the background and then there's a yellow bar shows room matrix room matrix has not been set so all you need to do is to click room setup tab yeah click this tab and then click the button the room set room matrix button i seriously don't really know what is a what does it mean but apparently it works and then and then it shows okay you're ready to use then now you go back to mocap for all but you have to check this box send tracking points 
to send the data to motion virtual motion tracker. And then as you can see on, at the bottom, this uh, free trial free trial countdown started, which I talked about is that every 10 seconds. So you can be active for 10 seconds and then down for 10 seconds. So when we go VR chat, I think I didn't really make a great result with that. Again, if you want to see the full result with people who purchase this mocap for all, go to their Twitter and see their result. It's really up to you if you want to choose this software because for us, is there are pros, on, pros and cons with these two ways. With Kinect, of course, it's the hardware. Sometimes it's hard to buy. Sometimes if for people who already have the Xbox and you have to connect, of course, it's the best way. For people who doesn't have it, if you want to use a webcam or phone to do a, and you have the space to do the good setup, Mocha for All will be a better way for you because the hardware itself, you don't really need a very sensitive hardware itself. So, and then plus, if you have a great setup, it is a hustle to set up though, by the way, but if you can, if you have the space, you can turn turn around in the VR chat. It's almost like a studio level of full body tracking. So yeah, depends on your situation. With this channel, we just really want to bring you everything we can tr we tried and which is also accessible, useful and fun at the same time for you to explore and express yourself in a virtual space. So let us know which one you prefer and what did you do. If there's any questions, you can comment our YouTube video or join our Discord server. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe our channel for updates every week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.